This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video and in this video we are talking about Flutter. So let's talk about Flutter again. In case you haven't watched the previous videos, go ahead watch that I discussed a little bit detail about installation. If you are comfortable with the installation as well as creating your very first boilerplate app, that's fine, we can move further. And what we're gonna do in this video. In this video, we're gonna create a stylish Hello World app and it's not just a basic text Hello World, I'll introduce some of the things and elements so that we can upgrade some of our knowledge here. So let's just get started. One thing that I wanted to point out is when I restarted my computer today and I tried to run Flutter app, I was tinkering a little bit with the existing app I didn't find my Flutter command there, so I had to go onto the desktop. It was already cloned on my desktop, so I had to export this path. Now, I don't know what is the reason behind that. I had already set my path. When I checked my path variable, it was not there. Probably a case only for Mac guys, because in Windows, uh, there is no such issues. So anyways, in case you are facing the same problem, go ahead, export your path so that you can have your Flutter command and also make sure that your app is up and running this is the boilerplate app that we talked about in the previous video you can have a like one two three here so make sure your emulator is up and running and your basic app is also up and running now let's talk about what we are going to do in this video so in this video we are going to talk about flutter widgets and in case you know flutter is all about widgets and it's all about widget inside the children inside the children you'll get to know what i'm talking about in a minute but this is all what we are going to be talking. So the first thing that we'll be taking down is the material component. We will be using a little bit of the materialist design, not much of the things like drawer and all these fancy stuff, just a bit basics of it, mostly the color scheme and stuff. And the next thing that we'll be checking is the layout. Obviously, uh, one of the pain in designing the native app using Android and iOS is styling the elements wherever we want that it doesn't really stick there because there are a lot of device sizes and this is the reason why react native and obviously flutter is getting its popularity because it's much more easier here and they have focused a lot on that one thing that we'll be dealing up today is going to be this column uh, the documentation is here for column that how you can have the columns and what are the properties available here so i was tinkering a little bit with the column uh, because for me it makes much more sense if you just put everything as a column because the device is designed in such a way uh, but also I highly recommend to check out the column uh, layout as well and if you can just transform this existing app uh, into what we're going to be designing here into a row based that would be pretty awesome and the last thing that we'll be taking down is obviously the text basic stuff text is really the basic widget so this is the all the things that we'll be doing now we can fire up our VS code uh, my VS Code is here, and for some reason it is not having my uh, project opened up. Why, why, why are you doing this? Okay, so uh, what I can do is I can drag and drop my app from my desktop on here. There we go. Pretty easy, quick stuff here. So this is our material app. And also I do have my terminal already running. In case you don't know how to run that, make sure your SDK is up, and then you type go into the folder first of all this my app folder and then type flutter space run pretty simple stuff you know and now what we're gonna do is open up this guy go into your lib folder and you'll find a main dot dart and what we're gonna do is just select everything and delete that okay uh, sounds a little bit scary but we're gonna be writing everything from scratch so that you can understand more things here it would be really easy now your entire focus should be on editor so let's just have that and uh, in order to have it the first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to import your material design and that is really easy with the vs code i don't know if it is really super easy with other editors as well but what you can do is you can just type import and can just type a few lines like material and the first thing that is going to pop up is this going to be flutter slash material dot dart everything is going to be a dart file so this is the first thing that we are going to have let me zoom that a little bit more. I cannot zoom this more than this. I don't have real estate of the screens here. So the next thing that you'll be always be doing is gonna be void. So void main, this is the first entry point uh, of your app. And inside in here, we do need to pass on one thing. And for some weird reasons, my tab is not working in the VS code. Okay, now it's working, really awesome. So you can have a run app 
Now this takes a parameter for the app. Now what kind of app you are designing? In this case we are choosing especially the material design so that's why we are going to be choosing that. So we can create an instance of the material app by using new material app. This is the one I'm looking up for. And in this new material app, and now first of all let me put a column there so that it really stops complaining. So material app and now this has variety of property. One is home. Uh, I'll talk about what this home is. This basically is a screen that we'll be designing. So I'll come back onto this point and we'll remove this error, whatever that is. Uh, so this is it. This is what we want to have in our main dot dart. Now let's go and open this up. Now what I want you to do is open up this folder and inside the lib folder, we're going to be creating a new folder. So right click on it and click on new folder. We're going to be calling it as pages. And inside the pages, we are going to have a new file. And this is the file, you can call it as whatever you like. I'm going to call this as home underscore uh, page dot dart. Of course, don't forget the extension. Extension is super, super important here. Okay, so we are having this. Let me just remove this guy again. So now we have two pages. One is main page and one is home page. So how we can focus on that? Now let's first design the home page. Again, we are going to be importing the material dart. So there we go. First thing is done. Now the interesting part comes up, which is in the dart, you'll be seeing we'll be creating a lot of classes. The first class, let's just create that. And we're going to be calling it as home page. And your class actually extends either to widgets that are having state, like in our basic app, we tap on a button and it changes a state like one, two and three but some of the widgets don't need to change their state and they are known as stateless widget. So it's going to extend to stateless widget. This is the one. And this is going to be our basic class. Okay. I hope you get that. Come on. And now let me just show you one thing here, which is really funny. Uh, kind of a funny for me, not for you. So uh, you will be overriding this and this is kind of a boilerplate code that you'll be writing quite a lot. So you'll have an override, override, and of course it needs to be started with at the rate, override, there we go. And let me just tell you, this is the entire boilerplate code which you can even create a, like a snippet or something or can just save it somewhere. And this is gonna be widget, and we are gonna be using a build, and then inside that we just say build context context there you go and there we go and new so this is up till here is like a boilerplate code that you'll be using quite a lot so you can even save this kind of snippet in your CSON file if you're using atom or something and whenever you create a class you can just click click that you'll be doing all the time at least this much of the stuff okay now what we can do now here what we're going to do is we are going to be returning a widget from this of material type. So what I can do is I can return new and I'll be returning from a material this guy. Let me put a column there. Now here comes the interesting part. Everything inside the dart is uh, kind of a children of everything. Child inside the child, the thing I was talking about. Now here it starts. So material has variety of childs as well as properties. First, let's use a property which is color. And the color that we'll be using is going to be color dot blue. Come on, give me blue. No. Dot blue. I hope you can give me a blue color. Why not? Let me try that again one more time. So color and colors, of course, dot blue. Can you give me? There we go. So finally, it has given me and make sure you put a comma there. Okay, so this is the fun stuff. And we have now got a color blue. We're using a material design, so blue will be selected as material-ish blue. You'll get to know what I'm saying in a minute. Now, what we can do is we can go back onto this main dot art, import this file, and can mention that this is my first home screen. Okay, uh, let me just import that. Import dot slash pages. I forgot what is it? Home page dot pages slash home underscore page dot dart and once you have imported that properly save the file first and then you can create an instance of this home page you can have multiple pages but this is going to be our home page so whenever user first visit this is going to be our new 
and we're gonna say home page so we are creating a new object of this and save that so this is what we have done so far I know this is a long video but we are trying to understand every bit and piece of code now go back onto a terminal and hit shift and R not just R shift and R because we want to fully restart our app and uh, there we go your material ish uh, blue color there is a couple of there are a lot of other colors that you can play around for example come on for example there is one this blue accent uh, I like this one as well but I like the darker shade of the blue a little bit more this is like a little bit lighter uh, no there's not even a much difference there so there are a lot of colors look into the documentation that you want to go I'm gonna go with the blue okay so this is like the basic part save all of these things and make sure you hit a restart of your app uh, to make sure that the changes are taking place now coming back onto the stuff what are the other properties or the children's that we can play around with so let's import the child here so this is how the children's look like you'll have sometime child sometime children's if there are like I'll show you what it means first of all we're gonna have a child so now what we're gonna have is uh, in order to have this uh, access and all these columns what you need to do is you have to provide an ink well okay and uh, this is the one I'm looking for ink well okay now what we are having is this inkwell so let me have this like this so there you go your inkwell is here now you can hit an enter onto this inkwell and now you can provide a couple of properties now further in this inkwell you can have one more child there you go and this child is now going to be your layout remember the rows and column yes exactly so we're gonna have a new and a column there you go so this is your further now go back inside further the column and this column can also have child but since uh, this is a column that means you'll be stacking a lot of values inside it that means it's gonna take a lot of widgets maybe text maybe images and all of that that is why column layout doesn't have a child it has a children and it takes a lot of children separated by comma in kind of an array stuff okay so I'm gonna hit enter again and now you can provide your widgets I know it is like quite a lot of child inside child but this is how that this is designed so you can pass on a new text here so we're gonna say new text widget and then you can pass on a data so we're gonna say hello world finally and there you go who kind of a lot of things that we are doing here doesn't it so let's just save that and why my inkwell is giving me all these errors uh, probably because I forgot to have some comma or something and uh, okay so inkwell looks like when tap okay so there is just a hint here come on don't do that that is nice actually I loved it I loved it that how the way the all the details are being shown to me so anyways uh, let's just save that and see if we are gonna get some errors or not probably I would like to have a comma here okay let's just save that and go back and hit a shift reload and we are having a few errors probably yep we are having a few errors let's just see how we can fix those errors so I think these errors are because of this child and uh, let's just see how we can fix them up and we forgot to use a new here I forgot that so it's basically an instance I think now it is happy let's just hit a shift and R and come on you can reload that quickly come on you can do that and there we go notice the hello world at the very top of the bar and yes this is how the column stack layout is going to work uh, so there we go that's your first hello world but it doesn't really look beautiful so we are gonna move this hello world at the center now in order to move it into the center notice we are using a column stack and we are providing some children's to that apart from the children you can use some properties as well so most of the elements which you're gonna create are gonna have some properties and some children so one of the property is main access alignment and what you can do is you can simply say main access alignment okay come on like this main access alignment and you can use a dot center to move that at the center uh hot reloading please uh, and there we go so this is your first teeny tiny hello world let's make it a little bit more beautiful 
and how you can do that. Now separated by comma uh, on this text element, you can have one more kind of a property. I don't know what you want to call that. If it would be React Native, I would be calling it as props. But this is uh, the more property you can have a style. Now in this style, notice again, we are going to have a text style. Come on, give me text style. And there we go, text style. And again, I forget this quite a lot. You always have to use new here. Uh, this is a little bit weird for me, but again, we all are adopting towards Flutter right now. So there you go. So this is your new text style. And inside that you can have tons of properties similar to uh, what you have in your uh, CSS kind of stuff. So we're gonna have, first of all, a color. The color I'll be using is gonna be colors colors dot white I'm gonna go for that uh, scroll me for a little bit and we are gonna bump the font size as well font size to come on give me some space font size to let's just say maybe uh, 30.0 again notice floats uh, need to be used here so this should be all good and uh, let's just hot reloading please and there we go your first beautiful hello world I would like to have one more widget here because notice uh, your widgets can have a comma separated stuff so you can just come back at the bottom here and you can have a new text and since we are using the column stack everything is going to be stacked uh, like in the top and bottom manner I hope you get that so then we can say too much children okay there we go there we go and now we can just uh, copy some of the styles so style new text style come on give me text style text style come on you can give me that at the top okay and we are going to be choosing a color property and i'm going to be using colors dot maybe okay what weird color can i choose uh probably white again it looks good on white 30 what is that i don't know so this is the white and we're gonna bump the font size as well to font size to maybe 20.0 there we go and i'll put a comma here as well for just for housekeeping purposes and again we can go back here hot reload please and uh, we can see that uh hello world too much children so i hope you have understood that how the things are working it's gonna be almost similar syntax you're gonna have uh, properties inside properties and columns and all of these things it looks a little bit messier at first but i think eventually we all are going to get friendly with that so this is a long video i know but uh that's it for this video in case you haven't yet subscribed to my channel hey what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so go ahead like this video and even share this video it helps me it supports me when you show your love and support and notify me in the comment section if you are enjoying this series on one and want more videos on Flutter as well. So that's it. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, hit the comment section, and I'll catch you up in the next video.